Hello everybody and welcome to this week's analog brought to you by Jan Blues. This analog will be divided into three parts. First one talking about what happened here uh, at the Anna Secretariat last week. Um, the second one with suggestions for our members. And the last one in which I select three news items that seemed important. So for the first part about what happened last week. Uh, first thing that should be mentioned is that ANA and the Balkan Civil Society Development Network decided to start working on a project bid under the IPA-CSF partnership programs for civil society organizations. The idea is for both organizations to collaborate on advocacy work in Brussels on behalf of the Balkan Civil Society. The deadline for uh, this proposal is April 13th. So it looks like we're gonna have some busy weeks coming up. Um, second thing, on Monday and Tuesday, some of our well, some representatives of our members visited Brussels for the ECAS event on the European Citizens Initiative, uh, which I'll talk about later in the news section. Uh, actually, four members visited NCVO. NISC, NEOC, and AVPO. Uh, and next to going to the ECAS event, uh, Kim and Oli from NCVO went to the executive agency to talk about the ENA operating grant. And Kim and Esther from NEOC went to DG Communications uh, to talk about the 2014 2020 Europe for Citizens program. Uh, and besides from all that, the members also discussed the upcoming ANA board elections, about which I will talk in the next section. Uh, third and last thing I want to mention about last week is that our Secretary General, Kim, uh, went to Warsaw, Poland, last Friday um, for, well, to attend a seminar called Future Funding of NGOs. Uh, at the seminar, many ANA members uh, were present to speak about all different kinds of um, related topics. And <coughs> excuse me, Kim uh, himself was present to talk about linking up the EU level advocacy work uh, that ANA is doing with regional partnerships, like, uh, for example, the V4 partnership, which is a partnership between Czech, Polish, Slovak and Hungarian CSOs. So, on to the suggestions for our members. Uh, first thing we'd like to suggest is, well, every day uh, the Secretariat puts three news items on the website. We try to mention the ones that are most significant and relevant uh, to the world of civil society. Um, and by doing so we try to be give a useful service to our members but um, our members can also themselves uh, submit news items to the website so if you like to highlight something or if you think it might be useful for the other members to know about this particular news item please uh, you're very welcome to uh, put it on the website secondly uh, board elections are coming up uh, and the pre-election committee uh, from ANA has distributed profiles of the new board members ANA is looking for. Um, the document has also been posted on the ANA website, so please give it a look and think of people you see as fit for the job and try to convince them to, to uh, put themselves up for election. Um, last thing... Um, is that, well, NCVO uh, let us know that new austerity measures are uh, being put in place in the UK and one of the proposals is to introduce a 25% cap on uh, the tax-free amount of giving for bigger donors. Um, NCVO says this has been implemented in Germany and that it led to a um, serious uh, drop in giving. Now, NCVO is asking 
the other ENA members to share evidence of similar approaches in their countries so NCVO can keep up the pressure uh, on the British government. So last up are the news items. First one is about a call for proposals for master classes. Um, from October 18th till 20th, the CSV, in cooperation with Volunteer Europe's Italian member, is organizing the 21st annual conference of the Volunteer Europe Network in Florence, Italy. The team for this conference will be Active Citizens Connecting Europe. Proposals for masterclasses concerning this theme will be selected at the next Volunteer Board meeting on March 29th. So if you haven't already and you're interested, you can still send your proposals. The second interesting news item, which I already briefly mentioned in the first section of this analog, is the ECAS event. Uh, more specifically, ECAS's uh, second annual conference on ECI. Um, the conference underlined the importance of effective infrastructure being put into place um, to support true uh, bottom-up citizens' initiatives. Uh, it was striking, though, that a number of member states were still in the process of ratifying the necessary laws to create uh, a decent legal basis for successful ECIs. Uh, the conference also made clear that with only a few weeks left until the uh, Citizens' Initiative's debut, there still remain a lot of open questions about uh, how the ECI will perform uh, in the first few years. And our third news article that was selected is again a call, excuse me, this time a call for inputs for the EYC 2013 Alliance Manifesto. <coughs> um, a background note for this manifesto has been distributed and has also been posted on the ANA website uh, for our members to have a look at and if our members have any suggestions uh, about what should be uh, in this uh, manifesto they are very welcome to let us know and we'll make sure that uh, the Alliance has, uh, <coughs> excuse me, has a look at it. Um, deadline for proposals is April 2nd so if you have any suggestions, um, hurry. <laughs> Um, this was this week's analog. I thank you for watching and listening.